Today I'm going to share with you the best mid-journey prompt generators I've been able to find on the internet. These are really handy for not only producing better images, but helping you learn about certain terms, art styles, or words you can use in your prompts to improve your prompt engineering when using mid-journey. The first generator is by Max Scobeef on Hugging Face, and the way it works is you simply go to the prompt generator, pop in a basic uh, prompt or term into the top field, click Submit, and it will just simply produce a bunch of prompts based off what you gave it. This is a nice, simple, and quick way to get a few basic ideas on how to get some variation within your prompts. A link to this and all of these will be in the description below. As you can see here, it's produced a tarot card, and I think that the results are actually pretty impressive. In sharp contrast to the last example, Promptomania is a really, really detailed uh, prompt generator for mid-journey. So the way it works is again, you can pop in image URLs if you want to, you don't have to. Otherwise, you can simply type in something that you wanna see into the field and then you can scroll down and there's a whole bunch of options. You can add more information to the prompt and you can scroll through, see different styles, lighting, and other sort of like phrases you can use. It also has visual references, so you get a bit of an idea of what to expect, but if you mix these up and copy the prompt and pop it into mid-journey, you can get some pretty impressive results. So it's definitely one worth checking out and probably one of the most detailed ones on this list. Emi prompt is another very detailed prompt generator with a few different styles and also some visual references that uh, once you type in what you're looking for, you can scroll through and see what sort of phrases and styles it has to offer. I feel like this is the most detailed one on this list as it has the most diverse range of references, things like architecture, movie and games, camera, how you how the photograph is framed. There's so many areas you can explore to take more control of your prompts and learn those keywords for future reference. And of course, it's easy to find your prompt Hit the copy command on it, paste it into mid-journey, and the results you get are, again, pretty awesome. The next one is Noonshot to produce some really impressive mid-journey prompts. Similar to Prompt Mania before, this is another great interface which allows you to pick certain styles, lighting, sort of camera, and also gives you the option of changing some of the parameters, such as the quality, the size, uh, you can even play with the chaos of the seed or even the version. So it's actually a really handy generator for once again, exploring these different things you can add to your prompts. And when you're done, you simply copy the prompt, paste it into mid-journey like you do with all of these, and you get some pretty cool images based on what you've fed it. But now we're gonna check out Prompt Maker. And this particular platform does require you to uh, sign up or log in with Google, which is what I do. But it is similar to the, to the previous examples, except it doesn't have the visual references. However, the prompts that I've gotten from it have actually got pretty impressive results. And the way it works is you simply go through and you can experiment with some of these art styles and artists. Just, uh, I pretty much just play with it almost at random. And then when you're done again, you just simply go up, copy the prompt, paste it into mid-journey and you get a pretty cool result. So uh, I do recommend playing with that. It actually, ha I've actually had some pretty good results from using Prompt Maker. This next one from How to Leverage AI is actually a random prompt generator. The idea is that you scroll down to the area where it says, what do you want to draw? Pop in your basic prompt, choose an aspect ratio, and it will generate 10 different randomized styles for you to use. Now again, I've had some pretty impressive results using this, but the other cool thing is when you actually go to the menu at the top, there's a few more prompt generators there that you can actually work with. There's a sticker prompt generator, and then of course there's a coloring book prompt generator. You do actually have to sign in with that as well. I, once again, I just sign in with Google, and it produces some really cool sort of black and white outlines so you can create coloring books or pages that you could print out and get kids to color in. So that's a pretty handy uh, tool and has a few different areas you can play with. I highly recommend checking that one out at How to Leverage AI. Now this one's a little bit different. It's the Mid-Journey Random Commands Generator. It's probably not as impressive as the other ones on this list, but it does have some very particular formulas that you can scroll down and just experiment with. There's only a few options and things you can play with, but there's some terms in here I haven't seen before, uh, and I found it, it's just a, an interesting tool. However, there is an issue that some of the stuff I've used on here hasn't been up to date, but if you get the error, any error messages or anything, I highly recommend just go in there and remove the problem problematic code from your prompt and resubmit. And uh, again, you can get some pretty cool results and things you might not have expected to see. DSNR is actually a GPT-powered prompt generator. 
something that's worth having a look at because it, it works very in a very interesting way. All you need to do is go to their website and be added to the server. And once you go in there, you simply go to their server. I find the bot name. I usually try to send the bot a message. And from there, what I do is I type in slash design. And from there, you'll ask you to give it a basic sort of instruction as to where to go. So you type in something that you want to see. And then what it does is it assesses what you've sent and will ask you a bunch of questions about the details of that. And because it uses AI to determine what details you need to come up with, every sort of subject that you put in put in there will get very specific questions to that subject as you can see here and uh, allows me to come up with a pretty customized prompt and get really detailed in a pretty automated fashion next is laser eye bunny he has a pdf prompt generator that you can grab from gumroad it does cost ten dollars but it has a ton of photography based prompts and keywords you can play with it does work for pretty much everything but there is a section a very detailed section on photography and therefore it's a really great tool for producing photorealistic images with mid journey you simply go down all, through all the drop downs fill out the bits and pieces that you want and when you're done you can head over to the right copy the prompt and pop it into mid journey and see what kind of interesting results you get from using that so uh, another cool tool uh, check out a link to that in the description below if you're interested in having a look at it the next option is to use Midjourney's describe function, which might not seem like a prompt generator, but it's pretty handy if you're trying to get a particular result that you have visually, but you're not sure how to describe it. So it simply works, you type in slash describe into the Midjourney server, you drag an image or click it to upload an image into Discord, and it'll actually produce four prompts based on the image that you have uploaded. Now you can just copy and paste these, or if you go down, you can simply click which number you want to generate, and it'll actually pop that into a prompt for you and you can actually start to generate with that prompt and then you can also remix and adjust from there. So describe is another powerful way to create and generate prompts for mid-journey. Now the final one is ChatGPT. ChatGPT is incredibly handy because what you can do is actually train ChatGPT to use the mid-journey documentation to become better at generating prompts and on top of that you can come up with a formula or even come up with a series of formulas to generate sort of prompts in the way that you would like to make them. So this is really handy because instead of just relying on the prompt generator, if you have some input that you would like to sort of put into the formula of the prompt, ChatGPT will allow you to customize that pretty easily. And if you wanna know exactly how that works, I'll pop a video on the screen right now that you can use. It shows you how to use ChatGPT to generate prompts for mid-journey and it's a pretty handy feature and I've used it to produce some pretty awesome images. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.